Hey, everybody, this is LAR1A. I'm here at the detention center where they're holding SGV and PLA. Unlawfully arrested. Sheriff's deputies are standing out front. Post it up. As you can see, uh, deputies are looking a little nervous. I'm sure this is the first time this happened to them. Had uh, two individuals that were arrested for it, for practicing their First Amendment protected activity. I'm sure that they weren't expecting this today, but you can't always get what you want. Arresting people for exercising their First Amendment right is unconstitutional and against the law. Okay. So, how much did she make? Did they get how much she made? Come up here all the way from San Diego. From San Diego County. I'm sure San Bernardino County wasn't expecting this today. People coming all the way up from San Diego. But we have to do what we got to do. People should not be arrested for ex ex exercising their First Amendment protected activity. You know you hear You know. We like that one. As you can see, there's a lot of First Amendment auditors here. People interested in exercising their constitutional rights. Chingadadas, Amy Gonzalez, Edgar. Pedro Libre Audit. Numerous First Amendment auditors are here today. South Central Audit. Numerous. Polly. Lavelle. Hey. L A R 1 A. Oh, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Hey. 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 Nice to meet you, brother. <clears throat> I wasn't saying anything about that. I don't, I'm not here to kind of get in on her business because she's here to visit family. And I know how crazy it can be. Okay? So I was just saying, hey, just watch out. You guys are more than welcome to report us. We already discussed that, correct? Yeah. I'm just saying, hello. There's probably just here about the little kids, not you. Not you guys, but there's been other people here that are respectful, and that's all I was saying. As long as you're respectful, that's fine. Okay, and so then, the disconnect in our community is you should explain, okay, I'm going to let him know this, but in public, there's no expectation of privacy. Correct. Because, did you explain that to her? No, you just want to come at us. Can I speak up? Hold up, hold up. Yeah, hold up. Okay, so if you would have explained that to her, and then I don't think that these deputies fully realize the scope of this situation, that this is being broadcast nationwide, worldwide, that people all over the planet are watching this. We had two individuals that were arrested for exercising their First Amendment, uh, First Amendment, First Amendment protected activity. <clears throat> and that this is being broadcast worldwide. Now it's switched, because now my thing is, I don't want you guys to get into it. And that's it would be a horrific right. mis mistake for this to get out of hand. <laughs> this country's got enough problems as it is. As you can see, there's numerous First Amendment activity yeah. auditors right. here today. <clears throat> Again, this is the San Bernardino Riverside 
San Bernardino County Detention Center here in San Bernardino County. And once again, these people do not have any idea what they've gotten themselves into. This is a public lobby and you already have peace officers trying to issue directives. <clears throat> and they need to understand that we the people run this country, not them. And they need to understand that what they do is being watched worldwide. <clears throat> so they need to slow their roll. Because people like me are going to drive a hundred and something miles just to come support these people. So again, I hope that these deputies understand the full scope of the situation, that they are being watched by citizens all over this planet right now, worldwide, Great Britain, United States, England, all over the world. Hopefully they don't embarrass their their county today. It's no longer about the state of California or the county of Riverside or the county of San Bernardino. It's now about law enforcement throughout the entire United States and will it, if it's willing to support our constitutional rights. They swore oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. State law does not trump federal law. These individuals should not have been arrested for exercising their First Amendment right. Again, as you can see, there is multiple, multiple First Amendment auditors here today. You understand that this is being broadcasted worldwide, correct, Deputy? Sir, I'm speaking to you. Do you, you understand that, right? I hope you do. This is being watched all over the world. <laughs> And again, as a United States Marine Corps veteran, I'm here supporting these people because I served my country for a long time so that we could have these rights. And under no circumstances should anybody be arrested for exercising their First Amendment right. <laughs> it's pretty unsatisfactory got, that I have to drive up here from San Diego County, from Fallbrook, California, just so I can support these people. They shouldn't have to have that happen. They shouldn't have been arrested in the first place. It started with how many people and I didn't know, but I don't know. Houston? There's going to be people in here from all over the state. For real? How many First Amendment auditors have to be arrested? It's completely unsaid. The days of arresting people for exercising their rights are over. And what really, what really pisses people off is when people of color show up and do this. Because they don't expect it. The news media is no longer responsible for the news. We the people. Like, sub subscribe, share to all these channels. Again, this is being broadcast worldwide. I've been here before.
Mac. He's going to offer the same one. How you doing? How you doing, Mac?